Every time I open the door to fan requests, the Iron Giant comes up, so I'm finally getting my act together to look at this movie. Now I will be looking exclusively at the movie, as the book has some majorly different things going on. One Amazon review described a villain that was a bat angel space dragon, so yeah, it's way different. Which means the movie The Iron Giant is an alternate reality from the book. If you're not familiar with The Iron Giant movie, it's a story about a young young boy who finds a 100 foot tall robot that just randomly fell out of the sky. Well, I guess you could argue that it may have come from the depths of the ocean, but the important takeaway here is that this huge robot appears from who knows where, and that he has a dent in his head. It seems like this dent keeps the robot peaceful, however when it sees a gun, it automatically activates defensive measures to protect itself. Of course, this inevitably goes horribly wrong, and the US launches an atomic bomb on itself to destroy the giant. I had a theory in mind that I was going to visually dissect every inch of the Iron Giant to try and determine what he is and where he's from. Since the movie's set in the 1960s atomic age, complete with beatniks and the threat of Russian satellites, we can have a decent understanding of the kind of technology that would be available on Earth. At this point in history, the atomic bomb would have been humanity's most dangerous weapon, and we see one get launched towards the end of the film. So, being that the Iron Giant had plasma cannons, or at least something like that, that means that the giant was developed beyond human technology, and the giant had to have come from space. I wanted to guess at the who, what, where, when, and whys of the Iron Giant's creators, but I realized that wasn't important. To put it bluntly, the Iron Giant is a finger wag at the US to be more friendly. When the young boy Hogarth helps the giant, the giant remembers and the two soon become friends. When Beatnik Dean sees the giant doesn't mean any harm to anyone, he too befriends the robot. So everyone responding with a kind demeanor and giving the giant the benefit of the doubt led to great camaraderie. When the situation amped up to a threat of violence, even if it was a pretend threat of violence, the Iron Giant quickly gets defensive. And that's when things began to get dangerous and major weapons began to appear from within the robot. But no guns? No problem. The Iron Giant is a direct analogy that the US could be friends with Russia if we all came at each other assuming peace over preparing for war. At one point, Dean begs the military general not to shoot at the giant because if we shoot now, the whole thing starts all over again. And Dean is right because if you fight fire with fire, everything is burnt to the ground. Sometimes you have to fight fire with water and just refuse to let things escalate. Ultimately, the USS Nautilus, a Navy submarine that carries an atomic bomb on board, launches the A-bomb towards the small town of Rockwell, Maine. It turns out that America was its own worst threat after all, and it was all due to fear of someone else bombing or attacking us. Okay, so now that I've analyzed the movie, let me try to give you a little theory, but it stands to reason that the Iron Giant may have been an alien probe to study and gauge human responses. So when the humans are kind towards the giant, then he's not a threat to anything but scrap metal. But if the giant were to meet a hostile force, his programming was to switch modes and destroy anyone who tried to harm the alien technology. So the aliens may have been studying us and choosing to treat us in a way that matched how we treated their probe. And that's really the only situation that makes sense if you want to make a theory about the Iron Giant's origins. Yeah, I might be overthinking it, but that's literally my job. Well, that's all I have for now, but this video's not quite over yet. I get a lot of comments that say, do a theory on this topic, but I've already done those theories. So please consider going to my main channel page and clicking on the video tab so that way you can see everything I've done. You will probably find a lot of things you like that you never even knew that I posted. I want to let you know that I also have two other channels, Say Halo Goodbye Gaming and The Family Family Vlogs. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed enough to hit subscribe and share. I can use all the help I can get to let other people know that this channel exists. And if you made it this far, leave me a comment that says something like, hey, I made it to the end. And then let me know what kind of videos you want to see in the future. I can't make any promises, but the more people that request something, the more I can look into it. Okay, well, I love you. I'll see you in the next video.